to a child? Can you solve this problem? A child answered, 35. Satisfied with the answer, they asked, then can you read the sentence? A child read it up with a perfect pronunciation. Then last year, they showed this picture and asked once again, then can you tell me how you feel? And this is how the child responded. That's when scientists thought, oh, this child is very smart, but very dangerous. Can any of you guess who this child is? This child is artificial intelligence. It's the smartest, fastest growing child humans have ever raised. But because it is based on large database, this thought includes both safe and dangerous thoughts. Good evening, my name is Diane Lee, and today I'll tell you two things humans will lose if you blindly trust the technology. First, humans won't be able to compete and we will lose our places against artificial intelligence. Now, AI was constantly dealt in books and movies, but what if I told you that these future technologies are already among us? Last year in Netflix, computers started writing poems and screenplays. And Google also hired a robot manager that can make 20 reasonable decisions every second. And this year, an AI lawyer was hired by the New York law firm. Now, all of these happened in only one year. So let me ask you, when our brain just starts to recognize that, oh, this is an alphabet, an AI can analyze more than 60,000 words at a second. So with that much information and that much ability, who would you hire? The world is choosing AI. And Oxford University predicts that in 20 years, 30% of our working partners are likely to be faceless robots. Now, of course, technology itself is not a problem because it is making our lives convenient, which should make us happy. The problem is, the speed of technology development is much faster than our ability to decide whether it's safe or not. We have the microscope in hand, and we're touching everything without thinking. We have boarded on a high-speed train of technology, but we have never asked, where is this train headed? Nobody really knows, but if we don't allow some time to think how and where we should draw a line against AI, we will lose our places in the future. Second, humans won't be able to communicate. Now, how many of you have received a friend request from an unknown Facebook user? Some of you? Maybe you have accepted them thinking that SNS will help your social interactions. But did you know that over 5,000 fake accounts are created every single day and at least two friend requests you get every month are fake? Yes, now I see some shocked faces. But in the future, we will have a more severe and a terrifying problem because we will be choosing a virtual friend over a real friend in virtual reality. Now, VR is a computer technology simulating a real world and is used in different areas like games, education, construction, and even in the military. However, futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts that in the future, VR will be so compelling and realistic that we will spend most of the time with a virtual character by the end of 2030s. So simply put, it is like living a life of Jake from the movie Avatar. So for those of you who haven't watched Avatar, let's just imagine. You wake up in the morning and to have breakfast and play sports with a virtual character by your side. Now, this may sound fun to some of you. Yes, an Avatar buddy, right? But wouldn't it be a serious problem if you choose to go traveling or share your deepest secrets with a graphic character instead of a real friend? VR gears are spreading fast, faster than the speed of Facebook four years ago. And at this rate, psychologists even press say that we will lose the ability to control. And we will depend more on VR because we will earn satisfaction from the world we create. And we will keep our distance from the real world. Meaning, we will hesitate and later on refuse to talk to people around you. Ladies and gentlemen, humans are the parents of technology. 
And right now, our babies are taking after us, learning to think, to talk, and to feel. And we may be proud of our babies right now, but if we don't raise them properly, they're going to do everything they have to stand on top of the food chain because that's exactly what we did with other animals. And when that happens, we won't be a match. Also, a virtual life will bring us a future where friendship or family or love no longer touches our hearts. So maybe now is the time. So maybe now is the right moment and maybe now we should draw a line and reshape our future when we actually can stop ourselves from moving towards a wrong path. Thank you for listening.